What's up, Internet? This is Rambling Josh, and you're watching another episode of Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. Uh, let's take a quick look at what our JP is looking like. Uh, that's her. Okay. Uh, now let's hold up some or uh, save up some JP for a little bit. Tim. Tim. Let's give him vertical jump five. Jessica, let's give her back basic skills. Alright, monks up here. Summoner. Okay, uh, I want to give him white magic. What was. Ah, uh, time magic, okay. And her. Uh, she knows short charge and MP switch, so I guess I should. Uh, yeah, let's teach her Demi. Eh, yeah, that's good. Demi allows a Time Mage to do a little bit of damage, but the thing about Demi is that it's incredibly inaccurate. So, let's see, let's put Brett over here, and... Uh, who should I put? Put Tim, and on this side we've got Jessica and Liza. Now this fight is uh, basically the culmination of the Bethla Garrison missions. But unlike previous multi-tiered dungeons or whatever, it's not actually all that hard. It's annoying as heck, but it's not necessarily hard. So the goal for this mission is very unique. We've got to open the sluice to uh, release the water to stop the two armies from fighting each other. Because they have, can't fight in the middle of a flood, I guess. The way we do that is there's a switch right here. It's, uh, it says iron plate, and there's another one right here. And we have to stand on both of those at the same time. Apparently it doesn't count if the bad guy is standing on them. Let's take out this black mage real quick. Or I guess it's a wizard. They're really the only thing even slightly threatening in this fight. So we got to stand on those two metal plates. And there's a couple... Uh, little things to keep in mind with that. The first is that the knights that are standing on them actually will never actually move. So that's kind of handy to keep in mind for uh, planning purposes. But also it means that uh, until you kill one of them you're never actually going to uh, be able to hit them in the back. Which can be rather annoying because knights are rather annoying to deal with. So let's see. Let's jump on him. Yeah, you being by the levers would probably help. And, oh, Rams a <sighs> keep forgetting Rams's jump isn't particularly high level. Oh well, we can deal. I'm not too worried about this side at all because everyone's got blade grass. And there's three of them. This side is a little bit trickier. Uh, I'm actually going to leave my time mage down here. Because uh, down here she's kind of out of the, the danger zone. Let's see what you can do with Titan. That looks pretty good. Uh, I'll move him up. The thing about summons is even though he's standing in the uh, the damage radius for Titan, uh, summons can't hit the opposite party. So like, Titan is a damage summon, so it'll never hit your allies. And uh, similarly, an assist summon like a Moogle will never hit your enemies. Get haste on Jessica. 
I guess we'll find out. Your arrows cannot hurt me! No haste. Oh well. Let's see if I can... I should be able to hit this guy. Nice. No wizards. With all the wizards out of the way, this fight... is basically a free win. It's just a matter of going through the motions at this point. So... let's, see. let's just, uh, stab this guy. Oh, MP switch. You did no damage, but I probably don't have any MP anymore. Good luck with that. Let's see, he's at 164. So, let's... Well, let's see one height. Let's move my Lancer up a little bit. The other thing about this fight is you don't actually want your uh, characters to be at the bottom of the map because let's use a, an ether on my time mage here. Uh, because uh, when you release the waters you probably don't want to be standing in front of where all the water is going. I think that's fairly common sense. Can't hit both the archer and the knight. He's wearing earth clothes anyways, isn't he? Looks like he is. Let's just go for the knight. But uh, if you, your party members are standing down below, I believe they will actually die instantly, and in fact, permanently die. I'm not sh actually sure if that's the case, that's what I've read, but I've never personally tried it. So, try not to position your characters where they're going to get watered in the face. Let's take out this archer. And with that, there should be nobody left who can even do damage to me. the other archer. So I guess now it's just the two knights. So let's see. Let's try Demi, I suppose. Move him up. And let's go with the jump. That'll finish him off. I believe, just like other Final Fantasy games, Demi does uh, percentile damage. And like I said, they do not move. Uh, let's move him up here. This guy's gonna die momentarily from the jump attack. I'm trying to hit the other one with tight. Uh. Let's just use another ether on her. I, I should really probably buy more ethers, but I'm honestly I'm usually not too concerned about my uh, MP reserves. No, I, I'm gonna go with Earth Slash. Oh wait, no. Earth Slash would be a guaranteed hit but it also would hit my summoner down here. And... Actually, no. You know what? Whatever. My summoner is not in any danger, and... The Earth Slash combined with the Titan might be able to finish off that fellow. Uh, let's throw a stone at him. Maybe that'll... Maybe if the Earth Slash wasn't enough, then the stone will just push him over the edge. You never know. Oh, 
Or it could not be enough. Whatever. 16 health. 17 health. Let's poke him with a spear. And now for the annoying part of this fight. Everyone is dead, but now I have to wait for those uh, two knights to crystallize before I can actually stand in the appropriate spots. So basically just grinding out some uh, JP and XP while I wait for that to happen. Although you probably uh, want to uh, take note of the, the units that are crystallizing, because a lot of them are actually going to turn into crystals rather than treasure chests. And of course you have the ability to learn their abilities. Which reminds me, I want to take a look at Ramza's knight abilities. Okay. So I'm going to have Ramza check out some of those knight crystals, see if he can learn any knight abilities. Let's check to restore some MP to my time age there. Fuck you, knight! Grab that chest. Probably not going to have anything. Lycro's not bad, actually. I think. I can't remember what Lycro will be matching those. It's not even a Night Crystal down there, that's the wizard. Oh, well, whatever. I guess, uh... Essentially what I'm, I want for, for Ramza is, uh, I want him to learn Speed Break, and I thought he had it, but I guess he doesn't. So I'm kind of hoping one of these crystals will have Speed Break in it, but really, if, if that doesn't end up being the case, it's not the end of the world. I can turn him into a Night Crystal Battle or two. I will not mind. Alright, just, uh, actually, let's move him, so there's a gap in between this, my Summoner and my Lancers. If anyone wants to walk across the bridge... I believe my time is still a little low on MP. Should actually probably use Chakra to heal my uh, Summoner's MP. Soon. Okay, let's go back over this way because I don't care about the wizard's crystal. Uh, just a haste on my summer. Ooh, so I can actually reach him. I guess that's gonna hit Ramsa too, actually. Uh, pick up this chest. Ooh, I don't know. I don't nothing. I guess you're, uh, sure you get lots of MP, or, uh, JP rather, in this fight. Yeah, I'll put that there. Just heal a little bit about health, just get some JP. Although, honestly, I would probably prefer to like, not have this giant, huge uh, wait period at the end of it and, uh, and just fight like, a random battle or something if I wanted to do deep. Oh, they're both at zero, so I guess we're gonna be done soon. Draw a treasure chest. Uh, let's pick up this black mage, or uh, wizard crystal, rather. Yeah, sure, let's take gold too. Might as well. Maybe you need a little. Maybe, you know, you're missing one HP, though. It's enough to get a decent GP. That's all I really want. Absorb, sword, it's better than nothing. Not what I was looking for, but. Oh, well. Grab this chest, let you go shield. Go for the haste. And I'm late. Okay. Now, I would just get that, but I think Ramza might be a little bit lower down uh, than I'd like. I'm not sure where the actual threshold is of, you know... At this point, you die. At this point, you don't die. So, better to say it's safe. Play it safe, not say it's safe. Okay, that's good enough. It doesn't have any abilities that I want anyways. Uh, let's just go with Head Break. I'm never going to use it, but I might as well learn it. Oh, right, right. Ram I think Rams actually has to hit both of the switches. Not just have uh, people standing on them. Durr. Okay, let's move. Well, let's go get that crystal. Might as well. He's never ever ever gonna use any of these. Well, vertical jump six. Never mind. That's actually not that bad. That's something he's actually gonna be able to use. Okay, lever number one. <sighs> now to to wait it out. Just like I've been doing for like forever now.
Okay, and the other lever. I suppose I probably could have done like an accumulate before I moved, so I got like one last thing of JP, but I really don't care. Release the water! That was an impressive flow of water for the first five seconds. And that is that. Warning. Poland! Father! And why is Balmafula here? That's an odd prison cell. Everyone knows Ramza. Mostly because everyone knew Balbanis. Why he wants to kill Orlando, I'm not really sure. I guess he's just gotta kill someone if he can't go to war. And with that, we get the almighty Orlando. We definitely want to join him up, but I'm definitely never going to use him. Your plot has been foiled, Galtana. No war, no Orlando to kill. Now what are you gonna do, huh? That's not the most logical thing ever. And he dies. I guess Stella said the plan was to kill Larg and Goltana. I'm not sure who Gravados is supposed to be, but basically he's uh, standing in for TG Sid. Just to, uh. I guess he's supposed to be making it look like him and Goltana killed each other. But that way, Orlando can roam about freely without fear of being recognized or anything. I guess each side just uh, appoints new leaders. I think you uh, forgot a space there between the word looking and for. And with that, I leave you here for today on Let's Play Final Fantasy Tactics. Catch you later.